Today in the wood yard, we're gonna cut some trees down on my new best friend Tony's place. Here we go. Ooh, you missed it by a hair. Pubic or head? So, so what we're doing is, this is a dead tree right here, obviously, this oak, and we're trying to throw a toss bag with a string up into that crotch there so that then we can pull the tree this way down the driveway. So that's what we're attempting to do here on our first little tree cutting adventure. And uh, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Okay. Because this is the carnival, you only bought three tickets. That's it. <laughs> and the shyster that you are <laughs> is gonna take my money regardless. Well, you get a teddy bear. Just a little one though. All right, your turn. No, no, you were you were pretty close there. I'm gonna go overhand. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, as long as we got that's good. You got plenty of. Hang on one second. Let me get this line. You're gonna step on it, aren't you? No. Oh. Not even close. Oh my God. Not even close. That was just a warm up. That was just a warm up. It's higher than, and I do have a sore shoulder. Oh, is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Not even oh close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, I got myself. <laughs> okay, one more try. This is, the, this is the money shot right here. It's about at my limit of what I can do. You were closer that time. Yeah, not as close as you. Okay, back to you, my shoulder's sore. <laughs> oh, look at that. You are a professional, no doubt about it. <clears throat> we got enough? <laughs> now if you pull it down. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna get the- Hanging on? Yeah, but we'll get the rope. Yeah. And just put it up. All right, here we go. You got it tied on? Yep, I got it tied. Send it. That's always the hard part. You get a little branch and here we go. And then we're gonna do a... A running bowline? Well, are you just gonna run the end through it or what do you wanna do? Yeah, yeah. we'll do. Get the rabbit going down the hole there That's and all that. It. There you go. Oh. That looks right to me. Yeah. I don't know much. Look Alrighty. at that. That tree is just barely hanging on. See that, that little pole you gave it? The whole thing wiggled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there. I think we could pull over by hand. That's probably true. Make sure you get yourself plenty of uh, oh, yeah. distance. You're not getting whacked. All it's got to do is hit over here somewhere. That's it. So Tony's over here with his uh, UTV, and we got a rope hooked up going up into the tree there. And we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the tree, and we're gonna pull it this way because it wants to go that way, and we want to try to save the little pine trees there. We're gonna drop it pretty much right on the road here. So the tree should land somewhere in here. We're hoping. I'm gonna cut the wedge on this side and try to drop it this direction. <laughs>
that's a rotten tree. <laughs> there was no <coughs> nothing there. Yeah. Just nothing. This was one of the worst trees I've ever cut. This is all rotten. All it was holding was just a little bit of here and that's rotten wood besides. Yeah, that was not pretty. <laughs> yeah, that was, if I would have cut any more, it was just gonna go. There was just nothing there. Yeah. I go to make the cut, it was, it was like tissue paper. Well, now you know why I wanted you to cut it, not me. <laughs> it's on the ground, that's all that matters. So this is a good example of uh, why you want one of these because we're on this driveway here and uh, I'm using my saw. If we were using Tony's saw, we could probably cut into the gravel, but not with my saw. <laughs> well, remember mine is, is the angle cutting saw. That's so. right, that's right. So got it off the ground anyway. So this is a piece of the wood that from the tree we just cut and I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera but that is as dry as wood's going to get. Um, every single piece except for the very very bottom one or two was just like I like to say bone dry. So this stuff is ready to burn and because I'm an amateur um, we loaded it into the bucket which you didn't see because I turned I thought I turned record on. I didn't, I just turned it off is all I did because I had it running. But we loaded up the bucket and then we dumped it right here into the pile. But uh, this stuff is, I'll turn it around here so you can see, it is beautiful. It is ready to burn right now. So it's kind of wood we like to cut, no splitting involved.